What should I do if my cat is wheezing? Should you be alarmed when your cat wheezes? While noisy breathing isn't always serious, it's important to figure out the cause. This type of symptom can indicate a condition that requires medical help. Even if the shortness of breath is mild and occasional, it's still necessary to contact your veterinarian. Cats instinctively hide injuries and illness, so it may be hard to tell if anything is amiss. When a cat coughs or breathes strangely, it's a good idea to look for other signs of discomfort. Your pet's behavior can be a clue as to how she is feeling. If she ignores her food or hides, it's time to pay careful attention. Observe her litter habits and energy level. Any changes could indicate a health problem. Hairballs One of the most common causes of wheezing is hairballs. Felines will groom themselves by licking their fur. Sometimes this hair will accumulate in the digestive tract and the cat may wheeze, gag, or retch. Usually the hairball will be easily expelled. Keep an eye out for sluggishness or lack of appetite because these symptoms could point to a more serious condition. What you can do. Keeping a container of fresh grass in the house can assist the cat in naturally treating herself. If she chooses to eat a little, it could help her cough up the mass. Other remedies are available from veterinarians, pharmacies, and pet stores. Grooming your cat with a brush will greatly reduce these blockages. Try to find one that gets the downy undercoat. Although all kinds of hair can be a problem, this soft, fluffy layer is often the main culprit. Ask about special tools that target this kind of fur, and incorporate brushing into your daily cuddle. Asthma and Allergies Many cats suffer from asthma, and the causes are just as varied as they are for humans. Stress, mold, and certain chemicals are some of the things that can trigger respiratory distress. During an attack, the airways swell and make breathing difficult. Wheezing is the most common symptom. Though asthma is not unusual in cats, it can impair breathing enough to be life-threatening. So make sure you seek proper treatment. What you can do. Look for possible irritants. These can be things like dust, pollen, or parasites. Your veterinarian can help with this and also prescribe medication to make breathing easier. In addition, he or she can do tests to rule out other health problems. This is a very manageable disease, but it entails daily monitoring. You can switch to a cat box litter that produces less dust. While your brand of litter may not be the root cause, eliminating airborne particles can help reduce attacks. Perfumes and air fresheners are two other substances that can restrict breathing. Even if it doesn't seem to set off wheezing, both cigarette and wood smoke are especially bad for asthma sufferers. Keeping your cat's weight in the normal range may also help with labored breathing. Get advice from your veterinarian on exercise. Remember that food can also be an allergen, so seek recommendations of ingredients to avoid. Respiratory illnesses. These infections are most commonly caused by viruses. The symptoms are usually wheezing and coughing. Much like the human cold or flu, the length and severity may vary. Be aware that a long-standing illness really demands a diagnosis from a professional. Bronchitis and pneumonia can be serious and painful, so getting the right care is essential. Some cats can develop respiratory infections that are bacterial. These can be caused by foreign objects in the airways, dental disease, or other challenging issues. Again, it is important to watch your pet to see if emergency care is needed. What you can do. While it may seem impossible to keep your pet from being exposed to certain illnesses, you can boost your pet's immune system by serving healthy food that contains the right nutrients. Exercise also contributes to a disease-resistant pet. Let's not forget that emotional states can affect health, so don't hold back on love and attention. Ask your veterinarian about any possible vaccines available. If your cat is sick with a respiratory infection, Make sure she is warm and comfortable. Check to see if your pet is eating and drinking. If she doesn't seem to be enjoying her food, try introducing more tempting options. Also, contact your veterinarian if your animal isn't getting better or if symptoms worsen. Heartworm Heartworm is a serious disease caused by parasites. Luckily, cats do have some natural immunity, so infection doesn't happen often. 
It's spread by mosquitoes and in the first stage affects the animal's lungs. Coughing, wheezing, and shortness of breath are some indications of the disease. What you can do. A diagnosis of heartworm in cats is not simple, but certain tests can confirm this condition. Presently, there are no proven cures for felines with this disease. However, these animals do very well battling heartworm without prescriptions. They can continue to thrive with medical supervision. Heartworm positive cats may experience spontaneous clearing of heartworms, but the damage they cause may be permanent. If necessary, cortisone or other medications can be used to ease symptoms. Each area that can be affected by heartworm has unique conditions that may present health dangers to your cat. Follow your veterinarian's recommendation for disease prevention. Routine physical exams can be the best approach to protecting your pet from this illness. Obstructions In some cases, a hairball can be a serious obstruction, but tumors and growths can also impair breathing. An x-ray may be necessary to determine if there's something in your cat's air passages. When there is a blockage, your veterinarian will advise what is best to do. Sometimes surgery may be necessary. What you can do. Always be aware of your cat's eating, drinking, and litter habits as they are a good way to gauge your pet's health. Any change should be noted and then watched carefully for improvement. Unusual behavior can be a signal that your animal is sick. Heart failure. When the heart cannot pump the right amount of blood to all the body's tissues, this is called heart failure. Sometimes fluid can accumulate in the lungs and make breathing difficult. This is a serious condition and needs medical treatment. What you can do. Sadly, there are no early warning signs for this disease. Through seeking routine veterinarian care, the problem may be detected in its early stages. Also, some breeds of cats seem more prone to heart trouble. If you discover that your pet could be at risk, you can take extra steps to support good health. When a cat is diagnosed with heart disease, it's necessary to keep medical appointments even though she seems fine. It's also essential to keep your pet's stress level low. For instance, introducing a new animal into the household could reduce the quality of your cat's life as well as her lifespan. Check with your veterinarian about food and exercise. Both of these can be tailored to her condition. A special diet along with medication could keep your pet feeling fine. After diagnosis, many cats continue to live a happy life. However, if unusual or alarming symptoms developed, prompt medical attention could be necessary. Being proactive. While wheezing doesn't always indicate a serious health problem, care should be taken to discover the cause. Thankfully, we can often manage breathing problems with the help of a veterinarian. Take notice of any behavioral or physical changes in your animal. And don't assume that coughing or panting is just a cold or the flu. If you see any type of respiratory trouble, monitor your pet carefully and schedule an office visit to make sure everything is okay. ForTheLoveOfCat.com is dedicated to you and your feline friends. Ask any question about cats in the comments section. Click in the video or links below to watch more great cat care videos. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Visit our website or browse our online gift store to find fun feline fashion.